In this morning's Health Watch, we're talking about a rare genetic disorder passed down from parent to child that can be deadly. It's called Tay-Sachs disease, and while it's more common among the Jewish population, it can affect anyone. Joining me this morning is Sherry Ungerleider, who lost her son to the terrible disease and has spent the last 27 years working to educate about the importance of genetic screening. And to help us understand the science behind it, we have SD Rose, a genetic counselor. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. Esty, let's start with what Tay-Sachs disease is. So Tay-Sachs is a rare genetic disorder that affects babies. Um, it affects their neurological system. So over the course of a uh, couple of months, you see a pretty quick decline in their you know, neurocognitive system. Um, the way that a baby can get Tay-Sachs disease is if both of their parents are carriers of the condition. Carriers are generally healthy and don't even know that they're carriers and they both happen to pass it down to their child. Um, when that happens, when we have a carrier couple, there's a 25% chance or one in four chance for each of their children to be affected with Tay-Sachs. Mm. Sherry, tell us about your son, Evan, and your story. So my son, Evan, was born in August of 1994. He was the first child for my husband and I. Um, and when he was born, he was beautiful and healthy and for the first six months, seemingly normal. He was developing at a normal pace. After that, we started to notice that he wasn't reaching milestones that other children his age were reaching. Um, he couldn't sit up, he couldn't crawl, he wasn't interacting with anybody. Um, he couldn't babble or talk. And then at 10 months, we took him to his pediatrician for what we thought was a regular routine visit, and it really turned out to be the beginning of our nightmare. She too was concerned with the lack of his development and recommended that we go see a pediatric neurologist, which we did. Mm -hmm. And then we spent the next three months going to many different specialists and Evan undergoing endless tests. And at 13 months, I decided to take him to see a pediatric ophthalmologist. Midway through the exam, the doctor discovered a cherry red spot on his retina, which was pretty indicative of Tay-Sachs disease. So we contacted um, the neurologist at that point, and he said, I think this might be the missing link to the puzzle that we've been looking for. Mm -hmm. um, this not only devastated us, but shocked us because I was tested for Tay-Sachs when I was pregnant. So I contacted my OBGYN, and when he re-examined my records, he discovered that he misread my test. Mm. So at this point, when Evan was diagnosed, he wasn't only not reaching milestones, but he was also regressing. Um, we had to have a feeding tube inserted so that he could stay properly nourished and medicated. He developed seizures and would have them throughout the day. He had bad respiratory problems. He became blind mm -hmm. and deaf. Um, he had to undergo physical therapy because he couldn't move on his own. Um, he, as the disease progressed, he really required care 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and he passed away in, um, sorry, no. December of 1998 when he was almost four, four and a half years old. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. And you've been doing this for a long time, yeah. more than 20 years. And you know, I think one of the things we're focusing on is the testing. Yeah. How is the testing done? So the testing has come such a long way since Sherry was tested. Um, nowadays, people can go to our website at mm -hmm. jscreen.org. Um, jscreen is based out of Emory University, um, so we provide a medical grade test. Mm -hmm. um, all you need to do is go to our website and register for a saliva kit. We'll ship it to your home. When the results are ready, all of our patients have a genetic counseling session through telehealth, so they can choose between using a phone or using Zoom, um, and they'll all speak with a certified genetic counselor to make sure that they understand what the results mean for them and for their families. You know, you're, you did what you were supposed to do. I did. You got tested. It was misread. Have, I mean, have the tests really progressed now so they're not misread as much? I mean, genetic science has progressed so much. I think in my case, what happened was my doctor told me to do the right thing, but he didn't tell me that genetic counselors existed. He mm. didn't even tell me that there were other diseases to be tested for. So I'm so passionate about people not only getting tested, but getting tested the right way, and JScreen offers that. Mm -hmm. um, if you're gonna do genetic counseling, it has to be coupled with genetic, uh, if you're gonna do genetic testing, it has to be coupled with genetic counseling because as a lay person, we don't understand what our results mean. Right, right. What are your choices if you are a carrier? 
If you're a carrier couple, there are mm -hmm. many different choices that the genetic counselor will introduce to mm -hmm. you. Um, some couples will decide to get pregnant naturally, and they can actually test a baby during a pregnancy mm -hmm. to see whether or not that baby is affected with the condition. Um, other couples might decide to use assisted reproductive technologies to ensure that they're not passing down the mutations to their children. Some couples might decide to break up. You know, mm -hmm. every situation is totally different, and everybody's coming from a different place and a different background. And you know, as genetic counselors, we're trained to understand that and be sympathetic to that um, and you know we'll just talk it out and you know do, we'll give them the options to do whatever they think is best for them in that time in that situation. Sherry tell us about your family now. So my husband and I were very lucky mm -hmm. that we were able to go on and have healthy children. Um, knowing that we were both carriers of Tay-Sachs disease, the first thing that we did with each of our other pregnancies was update our panel. There are always diseases that are added and, and we were tested for new diseases that were added to the panel. Um, we chose to get pregnant naturally and to have the baby tested early in pregnancy. So I have three other healthy children. I have a son who's 25, a daughter oh. who's 22, and another daughter who's 19. Um, but I did also have two other pregnancies, um, one that ended in a miscarriage and one where the baby was affected and we chose not to continue with that pregnancy. So, but we had the information and we were able to make the choices that were right for us. Where can people learn more? They could just go to our website, mm -hmm. jscreen.org. Um, we have a lot of information, educational information. Mm -hmm. um, we also go out into different communities and like to do events and just educate as many people as we possibly can about the importance of getting tested before a pregnancy. All right, thank you so much for sharing your story. I really, thank really appreciate you. it. I know oh, it's hard. I know it's hard. Thank you so much for having us. Um, you've kept up the fight for many years. And I, uh, and I will continue to as long as I can. All right, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be right back.